My name's Guy Kestevan. I've been a bike and kit. Uh, my name's Guy Kestevan. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years, and today is the first proper ride on my Salsa Storm Chaser project build. And I thought I may as well shoot it in here because it's a filthy day outside. My mate Dave, who has been my testing wingman for years, is running late. He's going to be in a right flap when he arrives. So rather than me stand about in the cold and get him even more annoyed, I thought I'd do the intro here. So me on a single speed, which is something that hasn't happened for, oh God, about 20 years. Uh, yeah, a very, 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 maybe even longer than that. Uh, but with drop bars and uh, all sorts of other things going on. New tyres, uh, new bar tape, uh, Thompson finishing kit. And if you're on Patreon, you'll also know that I'm wearing different things on my feet and will be wearing... And if you're on Patreon, you will also know that I'll be wearing different things on my feet and different things on my hands as well. So if you want an insight into the whole daft world of testing where I tend to be wearing odd shoes and odd socks if my sponsors aren't looking, uh, just... I tend to be wearing odd shoes and odd socks to just do maximum compare and contrast while I'm riding, then get over there, spend about the price of a cup of tea and join in. But yeah, now riding. Okay, so, first bit of off-road, and it's a filthy climb, with a brightly checkered, it's a dog in a plaid shirt. How gravel is that? All right. And uh, yeah, definitely looking for the grass for grip, but and obviously out of the saddle straight away, but not as hideous as I was expecting so far. And I'm running the tyres proper low pressure, so 25 in the front, 25 in the rear, the Schwalbe G1Rs, and for an almost continuous trek, I'd heard good things about the grip. And so far, definitely doing the business. All right. You know what? This is fun so far. Greasy, but manageable. All right. There you go, first shot. A bit pretty shallow, but a very sloppy climb done. Storm chased. Where's Dave? Where is Dave? Dave! I've forgotten you've got such a good connection with the trail because all you're thinking about is getting that one gear around. I actually get really, really good traction. <laughs> oh, it's the opening minutes, but so far this is a lot of fun and quick too. Just made my first accidental gear shift. Not, obviously nothing happened, I just trying the brake lever. And now, uphill, on road. Bit of squish from that tyre. Try and keep the gear turning. Schwalbe's are running nicely. Try not to bounce that low pressure front too much. Up we go. So I'm running a 38, 16. And uh, there's a dustbin lorry. Garbage truck. If you're watching it in the US. Yeah, well, lots of that. Right, I should have put a computer on. Don't actually know how fast this is, but Dave's clearly trying to outrun me. And my legs are going like the clappers. So Dave's in top. Dave's running micro shift. He's in top there. So that 34, 10? 10 or 11, yeah. 10 or 11, I have to look it up, but yeah. Legs got a bit blurry then. <laughs> Dave's not in love. Dave, talk to me, Dave. Talk to me. This feels really. I'm going to go through three out. Dave, I'm on Dave Boardman, which has been the curse of many bikes we've put it up against. Routinely runs rings round. Uh, super expensive stuff as well, not just other alloy bikes, carbon bikes, titanium bikes, it's had them all. So he's pretty picky. He's not loving, he's feeling it soft then, Dave. Yes. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Squirrel. Whoa. Crazy wildlife action. This is extreme, Dave. Extreme. Oh, worm. Worm. Another squirrel. Horses. See now. Jeez. He's went to change gear and he's. You're free wheeling and ammo to the pedal to keep up. I don't think he's loving it. I think we might have to switch back, folks. The steering feels really soft. Okay. Right, okay, we're swapping back. Dave's not a fan. Let's swap back before he ruins it for everyone. So selfish is Dave. Oh, what's the word I was looking for? Not soft, it's uh, slack. It's not very slack. responsive. Okay, right. Okay. Slack and soft. Slack and soft and just a bit... Oh. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even know how to spell that if I have to write it down, Dave. Felt a bit low, it? Right, there goes Dave on the mighty board. That soft, slow steering that Dave doesn't like works on a single track. It should be pretty good. Frankly, I'm loving it. I mean, these Tektro Hilux brakes aren't the most touchy feely things. Pretty numb, but handling feels great. Thanks very much. Cheers. Up for eight through there. Like I say, I've read some really good reviews on these Schwab tyres. They're on super wide DT Swiss rims as well, 25mm internal, so. Oh, feeling very connected and comfy in a good way, though. I like it. Sorry, Dave. Yeah. These big white Thompson bars, they got a super massive flare, 25 degree flare on them. Definitely liking the shape of them. Nice, right, wait for Dave. It's our scenic moment while we wait for Dave. Oh, look. People have done the lovely padlock thing. Don't think Dave's going to be leaving one of those padlocks for this bike, though. Right, this is going to be a real test because super steep. Don't normally get up with a full set of gears, so I'd be amazed if I even turn up the hill slightly. Hello. <laughs> I know, you're right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh yeah, and that front brake, that needs some tweaking. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a disaster. No, think of positive, positive mindset. Let's just hold up and wait for Dave for a second. I love it, I'm loving the way you can just roll it along on this single track though. It's already way better. Than I thought it would be. So, like I say, I've ridden it. I rode it down to the uh, Chevin Cycles to get that rear brake mount that I fudged on there. Oh, and that gear felt big coming up. But from what I remember about single speed, you need to attack climbs. So it's just around the corner. And where's Dave? Dave's come in. So obviously I need an audience if I do okay. So here we go. Oh, I could have done with a lot more speed than this coming into it. It's really going to be a, a muscle fest. Ah, that's as far as I'm getting. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Show us your gears. <coughs> so, yeah, interestingly, I mean, Dave's on bald tyres. He's on old Conti's. <laughs> Conti speeds, but Conti trail speeds, but actually single speed got okay, a couple of metres further. Oh, no, I had to slow down because you stopped. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Dave's, got, Dave, Dave's, got, the, Dave's got the wisdom there. Come on then, get on, get up the hill. Right. Oh, oh, is that someone ringing with an excuse for you, Dave? Uh, yeah. Right. Right, to be honest, it's a good job, Dave. His wife rang us, uh, front wheel had actually come loose. Which is probably why that brake was squeaking. So, some little half pedal turns to get it going, and then let's get the levers going. I'm hoping Strava has had time to link up the power meter. It's be interesting to see what kind of torque I'm putting out, but once you get on top of the gear, up she rolls. How are your knees, Mr. Kestemann? The knees are still here, David. <laughs> My lower back has experienced some stress it hasn't seen for a couple of decades, but onward. Infinity and beyond. Well, 30 kilometers an hour and beyond, I reckon. One way, one gear, live it. Dave just accused me 
of trying to make this sound exciting and try, try to make anything sound better than Boardman, because that's been a real fight for several years. And it's true. It's true. I am trying to find a Boardman beater. Because that bike, what was it retail? About 600 quid, Dave. 700 pounds, yeah. 700 pounds. And then we kind of did all sorts of, there's a very, there's a very funny story, which I will tell you about. Oh, go on, let's do it now. Uh, basically, we pimped the hell out of it with some old Eastern Superlight Carbon XC wheels and a single ring chain ring, single chain ring setup, which was XODH, so carbon crank set. And this was before anyone was running single ring gravel. And Chris Boardman came to open Chevin Cycles in Arrogate, and Dave nonchalantly turned up on his bike. And Chris Boardman's like, What the? What the hell is that? And picked it up and obviously went, Oh my god! Because it had these like 1400 gram wheels on, running tubeless, single speed setup on this alloy frame, and it weighed nothing and rode brilliantly. And it's like, it was like bedding around a car park on it, going, Oh my lord, this is amazing. And uh, Jamie Mitchell, who uh, now is at Rafa, but it was at Bournemouth at the time, went, Hang on a minute, let me guess. You know, Kez. <laughs> this is a Kez concept bike, isn't it? And we're like, yeah, busted. Totally busted. Uh, but do you know what? Next year, out comes a Boardman CX. Single chain ring, eh, Dave? Yep. And uh, so, yeah. Never got a royalty check from that. But let's face it, they probably had that idea already. No, 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 Dave. No, Chris was proper surprised, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Kept me back to it missing that up doing it. Why? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, quality story, but you know, I owe Chris Baldwin a favour because he wrote the uh, introduction to my Thousand One Bikes book. It's still available on Amazon for Christmas, kids. Right, anyway. Look at that, I haven't wanted to worry about changing gear. And what's interesting, I didn't even try and change gear then, so that's a win. Maybe I'm getting used to not having any gears and just kind of... I mean, I'm a stander-upper anyway, so currently... Still working really well. Really clean feel. And it's just got, because you're constantly kind of working with the gear, it just feels like you've got a much better connection. No, I just, God, how much I love this sensation. Now Dave's going to slow it down before it gets slippery, because he's a swine. <laughs> oh, look, oh, this, this. Yeah. All the lols, Dave. All the lols. See, now he knows I'm going to try and look for an overtake and almost certainly end up in the river. Ah, oh, look at oh. Referee. This is like two nuts trying to trip up. He's a bit. There we go. Nearly down. You happy now? No. You happy now, Burns? Oh. Yes, Queen. But if I get up this, it's going to be a miracle. Oh, no. <laughs> Dead end. Not a chance. Wrong way. <laughs> Right, this is so greasy, I can't even get into the turn. This is going to be a mess. Ah, oh, let Dave get ahead again. That's really not going to work. Oops, wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel spin. Grip, 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 grip. Dave. <laughs> yeah, look, the wheel's ahead. The wheel's ahead. That was spinning out. See? Single speed wins again. <laughs> you irritated yet, Dave? No. He's a good lad. And this is just probably as close as we'll get to kind of wet and dirty American gravel roads stretching out into the horizon, which is what the Storm Chaser is really designed for, that massive tyre clearance, that single speed simplicity. And it does feel absolutely great. Just ticking the gear over, it just has this kind of natural flywheel effect. Well, it does for me anyway. I mean, obviously Dave's not a fan, but yep. Yeah, maybe it is honeymoon thing. Maybe it is first ride freshness, but I thought I, I, I was quite prepared to just be struggling so much and hating the gearing. But genuinely only an issue once so far and the handling of this bike is beautiful, especially with these big old flared Thompson bars. 
They're like proper loon pants in terms of flare. You get 560 mil, they are at the tips. So 460 at the top, maybe 570. Yeah, 570, because that extra 10 mil matters. Whoa! <laughs> Full sideways foot outside. Yes, Schwalber, yes, Salsa. Slide in on Schwalber and Slicer. It's the single track beginning with S. Special edition. Let me see, it's gonna go again, yay! But look at that, drifting on Vin Diesel. Just with a very low stroke rate. Oh, oh bye bye fence, damn it. Put Dave back on the south, sir. But he's told me already before he even started pedaling that he's still not gonna love it. So I'm trying to get, get him to take the whinge out of wingman. But look at him go! Majestic! What a beautiful sight, Dave! <laughs> there you go! This is spinning all over the place! How are you sitting down, Dave? I see it's decorative, it only weighs 140 grams. Oh no. Oh dear. No. Okay, so, a bit of a road climb back there. It's pretty busy, we went up the side. So there's no point filming, it just would have sounded noisy. But, this gear is definitely gonna help with my low torque strength and uh, core. <laughs> I ain't turning that around, but actually, you know, I'm a big fan of standing out of the saddle, so no drama there. It feels great down here. I mean, that steering that Dave's winking about is just so stable, you see? Hands open, tracking beautifully. And then, oh, I always go this way and regret it. <laughs> And I've realised that, that my mate, because I didn't take that corner, it looked like I couldn't turn around it. Wasn't actually the case. Honest. So yeah, let's get back on the better bit of trail. Very impressed with these tyres too. They actually really remind me, I've just realised, Giax, which was the mountain bike branch of Vittoria back in the 90s. Did a cross country tyre called the Blade, which nobody ever ran. But, come to think of it, I ran a lot on my pace single speed. And that had this kind of, well, blade type tread design, like these Schwalbers. So maybe it's a single speed thing. And there's Dave. And I also had a brilliant but bloody simple idea for a gravel mud guard, which I'm going to have to have a word with uh, Pete at Crud about when I uh, get back. Because I'm going to do a little mock up. And if it works, which I think it should, it's going to be a belter. Proper face saver camera cleaner. Cheers, Dave! Posh train going over the viaduct. So I need to. Isn't there that? There's another YouTuber who I. Sticks his face in the GoPro like that. Go, oh my god, it's a Pendolino! How amazing! I can't, I can't. My girl showed it to me the other day. It's an absolute legend. I'll put a link in. He's worth going and watching. He might even be, he's on TikTok actually, I think. But yeah, proper ledge. Right, Dave's done himself. So Dave's done himself a mischief with his back road legs. And I'm going to pretend it isn't on this bike because I'm totally in love with it. And it might just be honeymoon status for first ride, but. Yeah, well, I guess you'll see how much I ride it on subsequent edits, kids. But so far, definitely a big fan of the tyres, big fan of single speeding again. Forgotten just how kind of clean, but in weirdly involving, and you have to strategize every slope, every line choice. It turns the whole trail into a chess game again. Just if you know you're going to have to grunt that gear around, you need as much speed intersections as possible. That's definitely something I'm going to have to work on. But yeah, really, really enjoying it so far. And that kind of strength is exactly what I need to work on this winter. Done a bit too much spinning, but a bit too flaccid. 
a bit too puny, a bit too weak. Frankly, I'm disgusted with myself. It's all gonna be a sexy beast. I need to get Don Logan on myself. Yes, Kestevin, yes. Yes, Kestevin, yes, 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 yes. You shall do weights. You shall do circuit training. You shall ride a single speed. It shall hurt at times, but it will make you stronger. Yes, Kestevin. Do I make myself clear? Sorry, bit of an outburst there. Anyway, I'm gonna take, well Dave's gonna take me for a, a nice posh coffee and a cocoa. So we'll catch up then. One thing I haven't mentioned is not only is it silent because there's no chain slap, there is a bit of cable slap inside the frame, which is lying. I should have put a sheath on there. But we can sort that later. But this DT Swiss freewheel, basically silent when you're rolling. So the whole setup is proper stealth. Sorry, what was that again? What was that? No swearing now, but Dave's giving his expert appraisal. I'm going to so move on to get, Jacob. As a child, you get a bike with stabilizers for Christmas. On Christmas day, you ride around with it, mummy and daddy pushing you along and pedaling backwards and you think it's awesome. And then the next day you actually realize that it's rubbish. Dave loves balance Happy bikes, Christmas by the way. It's kind of his yeah. business. So, I want to ride my bike Harrogate if your kid needs training, but yeah. And Jacob, Jacob, you're nonplussed by the lack of gears. No, Jacob from Prolog, train, trainer ho and all round uh, definer of all things cool it, in cycling. It, it looks like you've been on bargain hunt and run out of money. You've seen my workshop, <laughs> precisely. How can you call an XX1 Clark chain set off of bargain hunt? You know when you go for a big bike ride and it breaks and to limp home? That's what this feels like. Dave. Yeah, Dave, Dave no, but if, no offense, but oh no, this is offensive. Yeah, you, you were limping anyway, mate. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I did, yes, I had lighter wheels, but they're, they're silent, Jacob. <laughs> silent, stealthy. I could have put Hunt on, I could have put Zip on, but no, come on, give DT Swiss a shout. It's meant to be a winter bike. It's, it's the bike for every man who happens to have a XX1 power meter lying about. And I'm gonna buy your basket for the front. And task, yeah, I'll have a basket. I'll have some chips in it as well, please. And, uh, oh yeah, those bars, it's very, very stiff. Uh, really good for honking gears around. Also, dead long lever hoods, very stiff. And yeah, we, that's grippy tape. To be yeah. fair, I wasn't slipping much, but yeah, also our front end, super stiff, which isn't the best thing for, you look at that. You, you, Jacob's just demonstrating left. the bars there beautifully. Yeah. As long as you're turning left. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, you don't want to change gear. There's, there's some limits on this vehicle. I'm prepared to accept that. Look, I'm not standing for this anymore. I really bloody enjoyed that. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Oh, let's I'm wearing shades, which always looks weird when they tent let's out. Let's wait till Boxing Day, shall we? Yeah. I like it in a weird Guy Kesterman kind of way. That'll do for yeah. me, Jacob. That'll do. I like it in a weird Guy Kesterman kind of way but it's horrid. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry. Right, so prepare for more adventures against convention Ooh. on the Salsa uh, Storm Chaser. <laughs> and uh, it's, mine, it's got a toolkit on. And yeah, all oh, right, so it's not a Boardman. It's not that light. It's not a standard either. No, it's not a standard. Look, let's see, we all love alloy. That's something we can, this That's is true. the moment where we'll go, and here's something we, we can all agree on. We all love alloy. There we go. <laughs> so there we go. I love this. It's gold and it's shiny and I like it because I like standing up and hurting myself. But yeah, anyway, this will be resumed. So many thanks to Salsa for sending me the frame. Thanks to everyone who threw kit at the bike. Uh, thanks to uh, Dave for being the whinging wingman today. Thanks to Jacob for his expert appraisal. Truthful wingman. Truthful wingman. He's shouting over my whole shoulder. Uh, yeah, thanks to my Patreon supporters for sponsoring the channel. Thanks to Giro Cycling. Thanks to PTs. Thanks to Crud. And uh, if you really like, God, why would you like? Yeah, if you want more of this nonsense. And if you want to know which glove I preferred out of these two and which Meanwhile, shoe covers I preferred salsa. out on. of these, uh, get on my Patreon channel because I'll be doing a quick round up on there. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kest TV, abusing my knees and getting abuse from these two chumps on the Salsa Storm Chaser project build. <laughs> <laughs>